Hey guys, I hope you're all well. I finally managed to get my hands on some Billy Bird, which I've been looking forward to trying and having for quite some time. And it's great. Really lovely stuff. And I shall be getting some more. My voice is a bit hoarse for some reason tonight. Probably too much Billy Bird. Um, yeah, it's strange, there were some of the American tobaccos that I've, I've had recently. Um, they're not advertised as flavoured or anything like that, but there's, a, there's an unnatural sweetness, a topping to them, which is um, it's, it's, it's strange, strange to me. Um, although I'm not a big fan of the aromatics, although I've got to say I've been I'm enjoying these these American blends, which are well, it doesn't say they're the sweet. It just says you know, so they're a mix of Virginia's and, and Turkish and Oriental, so I'm going to call it. And, um, I'm it doesn't mention that they're the sweet, are officially sweetened, but they, they obviously are. But they're not, not you can you're not sweeten with anything um, distinctive, like you know, cherry or rum or whatever, you know. Um, one of the things I'd, I'd like to see, and I think I've probably mentioned this before, is 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 more specifics on on what you know percentage of different tobaccos in a blend. Because when you buy it, it you know it says you know it's perhaps got you know fairly Cavendish, you know, Orientals, like the care. And I know that the you know, blenders want to keep their their mix um, a secret and so forth. But I mean, any blender who was, you know, tasting a tobacco would, would be able to, you know, pick out the, the salt flavor and, and pretty much nick it if they wanted to. But from a smoker's point of view, if you buy anything else, you, you, you get to know, you know roughly what's in it. Now in food, for example, how much salt, how much, you know, carbohydrate, so far, it tells you exactly what's in it. Because um, I'm someone who likes puri, but not huge quantities. If some people say, oh, they either don't want it at all, or they want it in massive quantities. I find too much a bit too strong. So when I'm buying it, I like to, to know. The same with Latakia. I like Latakia strong. And then sometimes I buy a blend in it, and it says it's got Latakia in it, but it's like, how much? Not much at all. So it's, it's a strange one that I can understand wanting to keep the mystique in the blend, you know, private. But from a buyer's point of view, I'd, I'd like to know roughly what, what the percentage of, of different tobaccos were, were in them. What do you guys think? More transparency for, you know, different types of tobaccos and different percentages in the blends? I'm sure blenders will be going, no, we're a private. But, yeah, it's a good deal, what you think on that. So, anyway, I'm going to watch the second half of football because it's the Champions League semi final with Chelsea and Barcelona. Chelsea are 1 0 up at half time. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> see you later, guys. Take care. Oh,